Hello everyone, my name is Olga and in this video I'm gonna show you how Istanbul looks right now. I will take you to some places popular with locals and at the end I will take you on a boat ride along the Bosphorus. So first let me show you this amazing restaurant, it's government owned. So the prices here are really affordable, especially for local people. And this particular restaurant is in a historical building. It's very pretty there inside, you can even eat inside, but during the summertime everyone stays outside. And you can see how beautiful it is here. The historical interior is preserved. And you of course can go anywhere, take pictures if you want to. And my friend even told me that on Sundays they have a buffet-style breakfast, a traditional Turkish kavalte, and you can come there in the morning and stay there for as long as you like. But be aware that other people will also want to come, so you must come as early as possible to have a seat available. And this restaurant is located in a historical park, Yildiz Park. The park itself is very beautiful and it's one of the biggest in Istanbul, so I definitely recommend you visiting. And here you can see prices on the menu and if you don't know Turkish prices for these days these kind of prices are still quite reasonable for a restaurant like that. And we ordered some salads and vegetables and the food is tasty, I did like it and this is our total bill. Now let's go to Ortakoy Mosque, it's located nearby the Yildiz Park that we just went to. And Ortakoy Mosque is uh, on the water side of the Ortakoy district in Istanbul and it is one of the most popular locations on Bosphorus. The mosque itself is quite small but you can see how beautiful it is inside and it looks very bright and with the windows a lot of sunshine comes in. Then we went along the Bosphorus and found this nice little cafe just by chance and we drank chai there and we saw a lot of um, ships like this passing by and a lot of people are having parties on those ships. There were bigger boats as well and if you see the name on the boat that says Turiel then that boat you can also join and the tickets are quite uh, reasonably priced. This is Akarat Lair, this is the place where you can find a lot of very fashionable and trendy cafes and restaurants as well as bars and clubs. And now let's go back to beautiful Yildiz Park and visit another cafe where we can eat more uh, traditional Turkish fast food. And this is also government owned, so the quality here is good as well as the prices. This is traditional Turkish pide, Turkish pizza, one is with salami and another one is with meat inside. Unfortunately, I don't know the price of this particular one, my friend insisted that she would pay for me, so... But if I were to guess, probably about 30 to 40 Turkish lira each.
and here you can see the prices and yes actually I was right it is uh, 35 37 40 for one pide now let's go to Besiktas Iskele, Besiktas Pier. You can see the traffic here is really difficult and when we wanted to get a taxi here it was almost impossible and we ended up just walking because the traffic is so heavy. And here for example I am going into Pablo Artisan Coffee, one of the trendy coffee shops. Here you can see their prices, so for example for 24 lira you can get an Americano. And of course it is very hot now in Istanbul, so I got myself an ice latte. Now we are back on the street in Besiktas and you can see someone is carrying their kitty to the vet. And we are going on a boat ride along the Bosphorus and this is actually a public transport boat so the tickets are quite inexpensive. I think they are not more expensive than 10 lira. You can of course buy yourself a Bosphorus tour and that would be a different boat. But my personal opinion, a uh, public transport boat is just as good. You are still going on the Bosphorus just from one side of Istanbul to another. And you can see here the all, all of European side of Istanbul with the skyscrapers as well as with the historical buildings. And all the way to the left is uh, Galata area, Galata tower. Here we can see the bridge and we saw it before in the video where we were at the cafe. And here on the right we see the Asian side of Istanbul and it's one of the best areas to live in Istanbul in my opinion. It feels much more local and much more relaxed than on the European side. Again, I am posing next to the European side of Istanbul and here I am next to the old town, old city. And as you can see, uh, there are always so many people on the boat and it is an enjoyable ride. When I was living in Istanbul, I did enjoy going just from the European to Asian side by the boat. Especially in the summertime, it's very nice. But if the weather is windy and everything is open, it can get a bit chillier. So maybe sometimes you do need a, a cardigan or a light jacket. Here we are passing the Maiden Tower and it's also a historical building that used to be a watchtower. But these days uh, there is a restaurant, although when I am filming this uh, it is going, uh, undergoing some renovations. Here we can see the European side again with the skyscrapers. And here on the left is the old city. And you can see the Blue Mosque and the medieval Topkapu Palace. Now we almost arrived to our destination in Kadikoy on the Asian side of Istanbul. And my next videos are going to be about Antalya city where I am living now. It's a beach city, a lot of people come here on a holiday. I'm going to update you on the travel restrictions at the moment and the situation in Antalya itself. Is it required to wear masks now or not? And we will go out and I will show you the beach nightlife and the nightlife in the city center. 
So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from Turkey.